Sentage. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark with the Kid, Kid Coach, she's outdoors. Today's episode, June 12th, 2021. All right, we're gonna start from my report as always. And again, this episode here has been brought to you by Island Yacht Sales, all right? Go out there and get yourself a Everglades, all right? Join the family. I also get a selfish, if you like selfish posts, go say a lot of those too. Today's report, Mid Sound, Long Island Sound, it's good, it's good stuff. Water clarity, I mean, of course, I'm on my boat right now, it's blowing like a maniac right now, but uh, fish starting to bite, water clarity was good. The other day, I was texting the doc the other day, you guys uh, saw the video, fish were biting, constantly catching fish on the teasers mm -hmm. for some reason. The fluke keep hitting those teasers for some reason and not really committing to those bucktails. Usually, the bucktail as it hits bottom, blows up bottom, and they get a strike on those bucktails, but they're gonna start hitting those too, I'm sure. But what we're doing is we're just trying to find bait as always stick with that bait and if you get fish on that bait stay with those fish there's big fish there there's definitely big fish there they've been caught locally by a couple of guys and uh we got a couple of nice keepers but nothing you know right home about but those big fish are there they're just going to start biting up in may is when we usually catch the big fish here up on the north shore but it, I, I just it's such a crazy crazy been the last couple of years been really crazy fluke fishing striped bass are here and they are strong all right we uh fish from eaton's yeah eaton's is a far run for us when it comes to fishing and eaton's neck is basically what uh captain kevin's gonna be doing his report on all right but the bass are there we run to we run there to get our bass but we also have bass locally uh bunker is in and then you got my man captain dave flanagan over on north island fly all right he's a local guy fishes his butt off out here and he's been all over good bass but tons of blue he's got a lot of bluefish too he's been catching lots of fish locally that's a good sign and he's no joke he knows what he's doing out there so if you're into that it, we're going to start transitioning over the bass though soon on today when this thing is is the 12th we uh, are going to be doing the fishing tournament here a fluke tournament so we're going to stay focused on the fluke for now and uh we have the everglades out there tearing up the town you can see the uh, preacher out there on the fishing grounds, so say hello, give us a beep, give us a wave, and we're going to be over there again. We're going to be targeting, we're going to head west again. If you see fish, stay with those fish. Those fish are actively feeding. There's big ones in there, it's just that they're not saying hello really. They got to start opening their mouths and uh, making some commitments to these baits, all right? And our baits, what we're doing is broken record here. We're using the LNL spearing. I use the Canadian spearing because there's, uh, like I said in the last video, there's a big fat content in there, and those fish, those, uh, those spearing hold up really well to fishing all right uh you can do local spearing uh we do high lows we do gulp of course and uh soon we'll be trying out this new stuff from all pro all right it's these crazy things that vince has been using and uh we'll be seeing what they do all right there's crazy grub that he's in two years developing he's like a mad scientist right now but it's a grub with a forked tail it's got all fugazi stuff a rattle in it but obviously fish are attracted to noise all right that's probably their number one thing is their lateral lines detect that that noise and they say hello to that noise all right you hear a shake you look up there right? i always take this when they do seminars all right if somebody is in a room right there's a big room and somebody claps you look exactly what do you do as a human being you look exactly to that direction if the guy's over there and the guy claps you don't look over here you you are tuned in to that clap over there fish are the same way they hear a noise they they go right to that noise okay and they they investigate the noise if it's something edible what they do they say hello to it okay so that's how fish operate that's where they work so he's incorporating these things and i've done it too i've always put glass beads in some of my things just to uh make that noise in the water column to have these fish give that extra second look especially bass fishing just that quick second to pay attention to your bait and say hello to it all right so we're going to check those things out too soon that's this report fluke fishing is on the rise get out there and do it uh the bite's on so take advantage of it right now and then if you guys want to transition into bass definitely do so okay we need to be it's gonna be a chunk bite for sure uh you're gonna hear that from the real mayhem guys they're on a sick bite so pick your poison and uh enjoy yourself so where are we gonna go right now who are we gonna go to first let me think about that one Let's go to Baba. Hey, thanks, kid. Captain Bob G. Man here with this week's Fire Island Inlet Fishing Report. With the weather heating up the way it's been, I've seen some improved fluking in the area. We had a nice pick of fluke near the Robert Moses Single Span Bridge with a couple keepers mixed in. Weak fish are still holding in West Channel, Ocean Beach, the Point of Woods. The most tranquil times being the best. Remember, these fish are very boat shy, so everyone will benefit by keeping the heavy throttling to the next drift to a minimum. 
My crew and I headed outside to a Jones Inlet to give Stripers a try this weekend. Oh, really? We saw some limited bird life with no takers trolling Tony Maja spoons and mojos. I think it's going to take a week or so for all the bait west of Debs to make their way here. That's it for now. Everyone be safe. Catch them up. Back to you, kid. All right, Babalu. Mucho gracias, papi chulo. All right, where are we going now? Let me get these things off. I'm going to be a madman right now. We're going to see my man, the Italian Stallion, the man of La Mancha. Captain Nick Peace, over in the Real Mayhem, Western Sound. What's happening there, Nico? Gives a leash. Thanks, kid. Captain Nick here from the Real Mayhem Fishing Charter, located in Port Chester, New York. The trend this week has been hot weather, along with some hot fishing. We've mainly been going out at night for stripers and blues. A ton of bluefish around, more bluefish than the past five years. Bass fishing seems to be consistent besides the past two nights, uh, being that the bass seem to be chewing on me. Outgoing tide, we've had mostly incoming tide, along with the thunderstorms, put a little damper on them, but we're still catching them, guys. Uh, after the storm, should be uh, some good, good fishing, especially we're gonna have the outgoing tide. Uh, the key to the fishing has been heavy, heavy chumming, and uh, bunker heads on the bottom to get away from the bluefish. Catches of the week, Sal and prize, some nice fish. Other than that, guys, not much more to say. I haven't been out day fishing. It's been too hot for me. And uh, hopefully the bass and the blues stick around for a while. Back to you, kid. I'll tell you, you gotta love my boy Nico, all right? He's killing it over in Western Sound, I'm telling you. Watch his Instagram. It's ridiculous how many bass he's catching out there for his clients. It's great. But he's boots on the ground. He's in touch with the kid. All right, so let's roll. We're going over to see Maja right now. Antonio Maja Jr. Kid. Talk to me, what do you got? Thanks, Mark. And by the way, this isn't a face for radio. This is a face for exactly this. <laughs> I'm Anthony Maja with the Tony Maja Fishing Report. The fish in the ocean are still monsters and they're not leaving this area. Trolling them, uh, live bunker, live eels, playing the boards. I mean, it's been phenomenal. The fish in, um, in the ocean are all monsters, all big fish. You're not gonna get any slots. If you're looking for meat fish, all the fish in the ocean have to be released. Um, Right here, Captain Scott on the Genopee Sport Fishing put his customers on a nice 48 inch or on a number four multi spoon. Then I had switched it up a little bit last weekend uh, on the bunker box, Rob Crescido's bunker box. We did some planer boards and eels early, early morning. And when I say early morning, I mean sun up. As soon as sun comes up, these fish are done. Um, we caught three fish right here. Captain Rob caught this beauty. Um, it was about 47 pounds, 48 pounds. Uh, and then I got my nice big one for the year so far. And this one was about 46, 45, 46 pounds as well. Uh, all on, one was live yield, one was on a bunker. Um, as soon as that, that sun came up, right to the troll, we started catching them on the troll as well. So I'm Anthony Maja Jr. And I will see you next week on the Tony Maja Fishing Report. All right, thanks, Ant, baby. God bless you. All right, this is live right now. We're over at the Yacht Club. All right, we got caught passes, but I don't care. I'm still staying with this. We have my neighbor, just a head to my west. The man's on fish, all right? And who is he? He's Captain Kevin Conklin over at Bad Fish Charters. Bad Fish Charters, how you doing, ladies? All right, take it away, Captain Kev. What we got? What's going on, guys? So in the Huntington Northport area this past week, uh, the fluke bite definitely improved from the week prior. Uh, with that said, the fish are still a bit scattered. So if you can find a body of fish, I would stick with them. If you're catching a lot of shorts and a lot of sea robins, I wouldn't be so quick to move. If you did find that body of fish, just keep pounding those drifts. You're gonna find some nice fish. On Saturday's trip, we found a nice drift working those deep ledges again. Um, and we had a really good bite for about halfway through the tide. And then we tried to pick up, try to find some bigger fish. And unfortunately this, the bite turned into more of a pick than it was in the morning. So I would say just stick with that body of fish and just keep pounding those drifts. Um, they're still on the sand eels, but don't shy away from the spots that are holding porgies or even adult bunker for that matter. Uh, it, as we get later in the season, you're gonna find that you'll cut some of these fish open and they have small porgies in their stomach, uh, even adult bunker. So if you, if you do catch some porgies, if you catch some sea robins, use the strips. Sometimes they won't bite on the squid, they won't bite on the spearing, they want the meat. So cut those strips. Uh, and tip your bucktails with the meat. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, so after that, we actually switched gears this week to bass fishing um, with this hot bite. So we were trolling Tony Maja number four spoons, working those deep drops in the triangle. Um, they're all over the triangle, all over the major spots. Um, so if you're dragging wire, which is what we do on, our, on bad fish, I would recommend dragging the white 
Tony Maja number four bunker spoons. Uh, we had a really good bite Sunday and Monday. Frank is a bad fish regular and he had this 41 inch over. Uh, beautiful fish that swam away strong. Uh, and then the next night we got into a few more fish including this nice 35 inch slot fish uh, caught by Drew. Uh, and then unfortunately Tuesday night's trip got rained out with the storms. So we're looking to get back out there tonight, tomorrow, and we'll be out there this weekend. Uh, we'll be back focused up on fluke fishing. So next week we'll come back to you with a bit more of a fluke report than we had this week. But in the meantime, I would say get out there and take advantage of this bass bite because they're gonna come and they're gonna go. So get out there while you can. Kev, one love, bro, one love. All right, folks, now I'm reaching out there, bro. I'm going east. As a matter of fact, as far east as you can go. It's like the Keys down in the lowest part. Well, we're the furthest east part right now, Montauk. Captain Marco, what do you got, kid? Welcome to Kid Coach East Outdoors Weekly Reports. Fantastic. Good morning, kid. Captain Marco, Christina Maria, Montauk Charters. Just touching base with you about what's going on in Montauk. Right now, the diamond jig bite is red hot. In the rips, you find the birds, you'll find the bait, sand eels, you'll find the fish. Up and down action most of the tide. Three pound porgies, gator blues, School bass, slot bass, and some larger fish have made their way into the rips. As far as the fluke right now, it started off slow for us. We put a few fish in the box this year. We're still looking for a doormat. Last year at this time, we had one in the box, 10 pounds by the end of May. Got to work the tides this year. Look at the water temps, find some structure. As long as you get on some bait, you start plucking a few fish, stay on them. You should be able to put together a catch. End of June, trophy stripers show up in the rips. They're on live bait. I look forward to doing some of that. As far as sea bass, that opens at the end of the month. We're catching our limit easy on the jig right now and while fluke fishing, obviously they all got to go back, but I look forward to the opener with that. I'll see you guys in Montauk. Be safe. Marco, fantastic report, Kids at Dish, very informative. Welcome, by the way, to Kid Coach East Outdoors. Now where we're going, we're gonna shoot a little west, go a little north to the state of what? Connecticut, yeah. Con is strong over in Connecticut, I hear. I see it, I don't hear it. All right, Captain Larry Gonzalez, what we got over there, kid? Talk to us. Thanks, Mark. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Captain Lyra Gonzalez from Lyra's Fishing Charters. We're out of Greenwich, Connecticut, and just wanted to give you a quick report on the Western Long Island Sound. Fishing has been phenomenal this week. Uh, our main focus has been striped bass and bluefish, and we've seen striped bass up to 50 pounds hit the deck and also bluefish up to five pounds. We're using mainly bunker chunks at night in 55 to 65 feet of water. What to look for when you're gonna go out chunking at night? Find bait. If you find the bait, you're gonna find the fish as well. Be patient. Keep your bait fresh and chum the water, build up a bite. If you have lights, turn them on. Those lights attract bait to the boat. And what attracts bait? The big fish, yes. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to my man, Brian. He's one of my best clients and he absolutely crushed it this week, landing a 50 pound striped bass, our biggest of the season on the boat. And um, I couldn't be more happy for him. Um, the bottom fishing remains consistent. Porgies and sea bass a little slower this week, but they're still there. Chum the water heavy with clam chum and fresh salted clams and sandworms are all working very good. Um, you know, this is our trophy season right now. If you have the chance, get out there for striped bass, be patient. They're not always going to bite, but if you wait it out, you can be rewarded with a fish of a lifetime. Um, it's been very good for us. Um, and if you put your time in, you'll definitely find them. Um, and, and yeah, you know, just don't forget the chum. Don't forget the chum, it's very important. And good luck out there, guys. If you, if some of these tips and this report helps you out, uh, give us a shout out, please. All right, we'll talk soon. All right, folks, so there you have them. By the way, we may have a new tuna sponsor right now, right? We've been working on that, a lot of things been messed up with it. Uh, and I think we finally found our sponsor, all right? Next report, you'll find out. All right, so what we got now? Yeah, I reached out to my boys in Jersey. I ain't no Jersey. Uh, <laughs> love Jersey. Love all my Jersey con, because there's a lot of them. Um, but I haven't heard from my Big Nuts boys. Matter of fact, I'm going to call Scooter right now. And he's, I mean, Scooter, seriously, when he sees me, he's going to beat the crap out of me. He's a big bastard, by the way. I'm going to put him on a spot right now at Salmon the Beach. The Curly Boys. Um, big nuts required. They're mint. Captain Jeff is money. The guy is money. He got more tattoos than freaking the MS-13 guy in prison. Uh, let's go scoot him, dude. He's gonna be so pit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, FaceTime him. I didn't mean to FaceTime. I should have FaceTime. That'd be that'd be a little fruity though. What's up? 
Bro, I was that was a little fruity right there. I was hit the FaceTime by accident. Uh, I, I felt it ring and then it stopped and then it rang again. Yeah, what's going on with your report? Not happening? You're being filmed right now, by the way. That's Scooter Maguda. Dude, I got nothing. You got nothing? I can't even make a report. I don't have anything. All right, see that right now? All right, that's your report then. That's our report. All right, look, I'm just going to verify with the audience that that's Scooter Maguda right there. Yeah, I got Okay, there you go. All right, so it so, sounds like Jersey's a little quiet right now. We can deal with that. Yeah, we had, we had a trip on Sunday. I haven't really heard much since, so. All right, cool the guy. Just checking in. I'm just doing, I'm finishing up the weekly report, pal, and we uh, didn't hear from Jersey, but that's not uncommon with Jersey guys. All yeah, right? I mean, you that's... can just put me in there with a couple bleeps and call it a day. Because... All right, I think I already had to bleep <laughs> after things you said there, pal. All right, that's a wrap, kid. I'll, I'll, we'll get you next week. All right, yeah, uh, hopefully. Yeah. I, I hope I hope we're going out uh, Saturday, so All right. hopefully I'll have something for next week. Let's get, let me know, homie. All right, sounds good. Get it, made a move. All right, bye. Let's bye. All right, that's Scooter, all right? I, I tell you, you're going to kick the crap out of me if you call him Scooter. But Jersey's apparently slow over there. I know Jersey's got some fish in it right there with the striped bass and stuff with the big nuts guys. These guys are going to be going offshore, doing tuna reports and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. I want to thank everybody for watching these reports. I hope to have uh, somewhat informative for you guys. We're going to keep it up. We're going to do these... Uh, weekly reports and hopefully get a couple more sponsors to do those things to keep the uh, the love going and uh, stay tuned you have a second tell a friend to subscribe you subscribe hit the link below these weekly reports will be out there so if you got somebody who likes to fish and wants to hear a couple of local stuff going on there these are all licensed captains out there making it happen Gizzard Dish Mind the Most Kid Coach Cheese out